Hey, good afternoon and uh, welcome back to the fifth installment already of my webinar series about my book Why I Cry on Airplanes. I'm happy you, uh, you're joining us today again. Um, this episode is going to be a little bit different. All of the other episodes, they tend to be about the projects that I work on in uh, different parts of the world. I can usually put a country to it uh, and there's a story of people that I work with. This particular episode is going to be, and I will find a photo, about the smaller photos in the book uh, that are related to flying. Like, for instance, this one. And um, this one is, is, is an image from taken from a window. I have another one prepared here. Uh, there's one here. Inside of an airplane during boarding. Um, so, and those photos are often accompanied by a little bit of text, often not more than six or seven words, sometimes even less. Um, and they are obviously very, very related to the title of the book, Why I Cry on Airplanes. So, um, so I thought uh, I couldn't uh, make a webinar series about this book uh, and not talk about this in at least one of the episodes, even though it's maybe a, a less kind of clear part of the book and, uh, and really provides uh, a different kind of layer uh, to the whole, uh, the whole narrative of the book. Both the, the photos of the, of the airplanes, but also uh, the text that altogether, the short text that altogether form like a little story. And to get into that, I wanted to read to you, so there's a short essay in the back. If you own the book, you will have seen it. Uh, it's only one page, it's even less than a page. And it's about this whole, um, this whole idea and what was really the original inspiration. Uh, and so I just want to read to you the third paragraph of that essay and then uh, talk about it a little bit. The people I'm privileged to portray give me strength and energy. Their stories impress. Hardship and resilience always go hand in hand. I'm fortunate to be given the opportunity to meet individuals who at first seem so distant from me to then recognize that we have so much in common. And just when that moment arrives that I want to start dancing of happiness for the people I've met and the experiences I've had, I'm required to buckle up for takeoff. Imagine the frustration. This is really where the concept of the book uh, was uh, born from. And that is that often when I work, um, and I'm, I often work with people who live in extreme poverty or who face uh, special challenges or who are at risk uh, in one way or another. Often when I work, I can really kind of uh, keep my cool in a sense. I get close to people. It's not that I'm distant, I think, I hope. Um, but uh, I'm not terribly emotional about uh, what I'm doing at that point. Uh, I try to be professional. Uh, there are certain things that I'm after uh, in terms of a project that I'm doing, and so that's what I'm going for. And then when I get in the plane, I suddenly suffer from uh, postponed emotions. Or actually, I suffer from that when I work, and, I, and they come to me when I'm in a plane. And to me, it's always such a contrast, like you know, this kind of humanity, these, uh, if you've seen some of the other episodes of the webinar, you will have seen some of the areas that I've worked, uh, you know, this, this humanity, sometimes very, very, a lot of nature or, or, or um, I don't know, very special experiences. And then the plane to me is always such a, I don't know, technological, cold, kind of metallic, uh, artificial, and we're all kind of packed up, you know, uh, and literally you're strapped in, you're stuck in your seat and you can't go anywhere. And so that always makes me feel, it leaves me like very powerless. It makes me feel very, very kind of powerless. 
And, um, and that's generally when the emotions come. Like when I think about, you know, the last week or the last weeks or whatever I've been doing, and it suddenly comes to me. And I, I realize, uh, both as I write in the essay, uh, how fortunate I am, but also, of course, uh, how touching some of the experiences uh, can have been, how resilient people are, and the whole humanity of it. Uh, and so that often happens in the plane. I always feel bad for the people that sit next to me because they might think, oh, why is that grown-up man crying? Uh, generally about half an hour into the flight, but uh, I don't care much about that. Um, and there is, of course, this idea, This uh, and I've, I've done some research in it, and I've realized that a lot of people uh, have similar experiences, even if they don't work in the same kind of area as I do, that people do get emotional in planes. I think they are the perfect place to reflect. Uh, very often they function as some kind of a, a bridge from you know one part of your life to the next part of your life or or one important spot in your life to another important spot in your life. And so that experience, it takes time and it's a process, also an emotional process. Um, and for me that certainly is true. I you know the place I come back to which is a highly developed uh, and and uh, relatively wealthy Western country, uh, often is a huge contrast to the place I've just left behind. And then there's also this um, this idea of flying, like looking at the world, even in your head, even if you're not sitting by the window, looking at the world from up there and imagining it down below you, and you know seeing uh, so much more than when you're up close and you're part of it, like having this overview. And again, you know, that can just happen in that can just happen in your mind. You don't actually physically need to see it. And so uh, that's where the whole concept of the book came from. That's where the title came from, Why I Cry on Airplanes. Um, and that was the inspiration of doing this book, of, 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 uh, of bringing together all these photographs from so many years of work, uh, but then Tying, it, tying them together with a common theme. Uh, and that is exactly the contrast that I am trying to uh, bring forward in my own work. Um, I'm trying to bring stories from places that are not very visited and that people don't know a lot about or, or, or uh, issues that people might not know a lot about. I'm trying to bring them to a certain uh, different world, a, a different public. And... Um, um, or a different audience, I should say, um, and um, and that contrast is is kind of the same as uh, you know me leaving the place where I'm working and then stepping into the plane and being strapped into my seat. So um, so I thought I should dedicate one of the episodes to uh, to this little explanation as to where the title comes from and uh, and what that uh, means to me. And I'm going to leave it there. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope. Somehow it's been enriching. Uh, the sixth episode is on Monday, the 27th of April. Again, you can watch it uh, on the Facebook event page, uh, which is where I'm also going to be in one minute from now uh, to answer your questions. If you have them, just write them in the comments. Um, and you can also watch uh, the episodes and also the previous episodes on whyicryonairplanes.com. And if you don't own a book yet, that's also where you can buy the book. So thanks again and I hope to see you on Monday.